guys, so today I am using Seafoam here on my 1987 Nissan 300ZX. Uh, we have the non-turbo V6 here, the VG30, and I'm going to go ahead and try out using Seafoam on it. Um, I've heard the good things about Seafoam, some people like it, uh, most people like it, some people don't really care for it, uh, they think it's snake oil. I don't really think it's snake oil, it has a lot of really good reviews. Uh, so I'm expecting it to actually do something in this case. So here it is, you can find it at Walmart. That's where I got this. It's about $10 for this uh, bottle here. Uh, what you're gonna do to use foam, I'd recommend looking at the directions here. Just like that, you could go ahead and pause the video and look at that. Uh, but basically what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna get the engine nice and warm, drive it around for a little bit, get it warm. And then you're going to get your little intake boot here, uh, get it loose. And then you're gonna slip the nozzle in right here going to tighten that up and then you're going to connect this to a seafoam bottle here all right and then you're going to start your engine bring it up to 2000 rpms and then start spraying here this little end goes into the nozzle there uh, you're going to start spraying and this bottle should last about seven minutes of continual spraying until it is out at that point you'll go into your car here and you'll go ahead and shut off the engine uh, let it heat soak for about 10 minutes and then you'll start it and take it out for a nice drive and it says here to do spirited acceleration when safe to do so so uh go ahead and you know get it close to red light maybe one or two times um basically just drive it around for a little bit kind of be hard on it uh so then you get all that carbon and stuff out you will notice it's smoking uh when you're doing this because it's of course burning off the sea foam here and burning off carbon uh here i have a a fan here kind of blown up towards the radiator down there um because today is 90 degrees one of the hottest days we've had i think all year and um i don't know how this engine is going to do you know sitting here uh idling for what like five or seven minutes or so while i'm spraying this so i just want to make sure it's cool um so let's go ahead and get a move on all right so here it's sitting on about 2000 rpm i actually just have a little cinder block here kind of wedging the gas pedal just like that i'm gonna go in here Connect this, start spraying. Alright, so I've been spraying here for about a minute. I don't really see any smoke. Uh, uh, you can see here if I let off here, it kind of revs up. And if I squeeze the trigger here, it, it uh, revs down. It's because it's sucking in, uh, you know, seat foam here, so it's going to have to put off the path. And, uh, we're going to keep going at this until the can is empty. All right, so it's been a few minutes and here the entire can is empty. Nothing in there, barely even spraying now. So uh, there it is. We're gonna go ahead and leave it here for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna um, take the straw out here and tighten up that intake boot. And uh, we'll go ahead and take it out on a drive. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and start it up here. See if we have any smoke. Oh yeah, we have a little bit of smoke. Take it out. Oh, yeah, it's smoking. Alright, so as you saw, went out on a little drive, and I'm happy to report it actually seems to be a little bit better. Uh, it actually seems to be a hair faster. Um, maybe even a tad smoother here at idle. I mean, sitting here at idle, I, I can't even feel a thing running. It is incredibly smooth. Um, so even though I didn't, I can't really tell a whole lot of a difference, I'm sure it helped the engine. Uh, if you watch Chris Fix's video, he actually took the uh, spark plugs out and everything and stuck a little boroscope in there. And he clearly showed carbon that was cleaned up on each of the cylinders. Um, so even though I can't really tell a whole lot of a difference here, I'm sure the engine actually can. Uh, I'm sure it's a lot cleaner in there now. And I'm sure it probably did extend the a little bit. Um, I personally think it does run a little bit better now. Uh, but you, you can see, just still totally smooth. Runs great. Ran great before, and in my opinion, may even run a little bit better now. So, uh, overall, Seafoam, if you got an old engine that's maybe tired or something, or hasn't had the best of maintenance, I'd say go ahead and use it. But in this case, like this thing has had very good maintenance. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty low mile engine, with, uh, judging by how well it runs. I know it's been replaced. Um, I can't really tell a whole lot of a difference, but like in my Jeep over here, this thing hasn't had very good maintenance. Um, I could, I would probably be able to tell a more of a difference 
and that. Uh, so I might actually do it in that um, in the next couple of weeks or something. Uh, overall, Seafoam though, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so overall, would I recommend Seafoam? Uh, like I said, if you got an older engine, hasn't had the best of maintenance, I'd say go ahead and go for it. Uh, in this case, I didn't really see a whole lot of a difference, but like I said, I'm sure if you have an older engine with more miles on it, uh, you'd probably be able to tell a bigger difference. And I'm sure it did help out the engine. I'm sure it cleaned up some carbon and stuff. I'm sure it cleaned up the throttle body and the intake and everything. So um, I'm sure it did make a difference here. Um, Overall, yeah, it's pretty easy to use. It's not difficult at all. Instructions are easy. I explained it earlier on how to use it. It's it's pretty easy. Um, make sure just after you do it, make sure, you know, let it sit for 10 minutes and then take it out and kind of beat on it. You can see there um, in the clip before the last one, you can see all the smoke there is burning off all the carbon and the sea foam, the hydrocarbons in there. Um, so, uh, and it was smoking a lot. It's not smoking at all now because it's on, you know, all burned out, but uh, I took it out for a while. I beat on it a little bit. Um, never got it above like 4,500 RPM, but uh, you know, overall so far I am pretty happy with sea foam. So yeah, there it is. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.